What's up everyone? Welcome, my name is Empty Major, and today we are playing some Rebel Galaxy. Now, what is Rebel Galaxy? For people who don't know, this is essentially a space single player space RPG game. So you are a captain. You know, with your with your spaceship and uh, you can buy more spaceships, you can do missions, you can stop doing missions and just be a pirate. You can do basically all the things you can also do in Elite Dangerous. I don't think... Yeah, you can also mine. Mi you can also mine. So there's <laughs> basically everything you can do in Elite Dangerous except for landing on planets, you can do in this game. And But there's also a cool, um, uh, a cool little uh, story uh, that you can follow with like, uh, you know, uh, you can actually go into like, not actually, but you can kind of go into like, places and stuff it's pretty fun but obviously it's not the same as elite obviously it's very different obviously you, you can go inside the ship you 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 know but it's more arcadey but it's really fun it is absolutely it's it's really fun some of the ships now there are quite a lot of ships in this game now these are not all the ships that they sell obviously at this station they only sell few so this is the beginning ship which has only three broadside uh, ports and two turret points. This one is the one I have now, which has three turret points, uh, four broadside ports on each side. Uh, and this is the one I want to get. Now, this is the Tenhauser. Now this is a frigate, so this is pretty big. You see, there's a lot of difference in size. And uh, this one has six broadside ports, so this is pretty epic. I want to have this one four turret uh, places. So yeah, pretty pretty sick. Uh, but you know, you have this this type of ships. You have the really big heavy frigates. You have the uh, destroyers, which are even bigger, and then you have dreadnoughts. No, you have cruisers, which I think there's only one cruiser, and then you have dreadnoughts. And dreadnoughts are absolutely massive, and it's really cool, but it's really hard to get. So my idea of this Let's Play is not so much of playing through the whole campaign or, you know, filming everything I do, and it's going to be less Let's Play with 200 episodes. It's basically going to be a road to the dreadnought. I want to have a dreadnought there, I think four or three different dreadnoughts. I just want to have a dreadnought and whether or not we're going to do it via the via the, the campaign or we're going to just do missions, I want to have the dreadnought and I think that's a cool, um, that's the biggest ship in the game and the best ship in the game basically. So I think it's a pretty cool, um, well, thing. Uh, I hope it's not too hard or too impossible to get there. I know that getting the 10,000 is going to take me some while. Uh, this thing is like 80,000, uh, I think, wait, I think that, oh, by the way, let me show you real quick, you also have commodities just like Elite, it's kind of the same how it works, to be honest, I'm not gonna explain that too much, you got mission boards here, you can accept some missions, now I think, whoa, this one's actually pretty good, um, you know what, let's do this one, uh, eliminate the cutthroat band led by Fort Pole, fuck yeah, okay, so, anyway, you also have equipment bay, which now here you can uh, fix your ship with some extra upgrades. You can give them different types of broadsides, a few different turret types too, some some lasers, uh, some mi mining lasers. You can also do mining. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do in this game. Uh, for the record, it's on Steam, and it's only 17 euros. So if you're or 17 dollars. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, now my my net worth, hmm, I don't know how much that is. One hundred forty thousand credits. We need a uh, hundred and eighty for the uh, ten thousand. So we need to get forty thousand credits. So at the end of this episode, we'll definitely have it. Now Engines you have a uh, throttle system, so you can speed up. Engines at maximum. Pressing E. And we're going here and that's basically it there are some things you can do maps you can go to the map uh you know you can go to certain places you can go from system to system i think they're like what like eight systems oh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten they're a little bit more but they're it's not that much but it's it's big enough and now we're engaging into warp and we're basically there we go. So now we're basically warping to the destination where we need to be. And um, that's how it goes. It's basically like Super Cruise and Elite, but a much easier 
variant and lots less time consuming. You know, you get there, you press on a button, you're there. Um, obviously, these games are similar, but also really not comparable, which is, which is funny in one hand because it's it's very similar but not comparable at all. But at the other end, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, yeah, Elite Dangerous is, yeah, is definitely a better game. But I mean, it's different, you know, it's, it's different. I really enjoy this game because it's single player and it really gives you a fast, um, you know, a fast path to getting some cool ships and some re and really fun and uh, fast paced gameplay. Here we go! Here we are! Almost at least. When you go through these meteor or the asteroid belts, you get a, a little bit of slowy. For the pole, there he is. Wow, that's a really fucking big ship. Holy shit! All right, let's first. Oh, let's first get rid of all these, uh, all these goddamn annoying little shit. They're really happy to fire automatically because seriously, they're, they're those fighters are really, really, really hard. Especially gunship. I see gunship right there. That's right there. Ridiculous okay, let's hail him. Healing. Talking's over. Talking's over. Alright. Sure, sure. Now this is absolutely a, this is a massive fucking ship. How the hell am I gonna take this one down? Stubborn shields down. Stubborn all reached. Systems heavily damaged. Stubborn shields down. Ooh, ooh. Yes! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh man, that that super close broadside attack is just so ridiculously good. All right, right now we're going to fly to the primary mission. That's so annoying when you get when you get thrown out of warp because of these asteroids. Alrighty, here we are at the station though. Okay. Okay, well now I have to talk to this lady, which is the which is one of the main characters of the story. Let's first repair our ship. Repairs. Yeah, okay, that's annoying though. The repair costs are sometimes quite high if you don't have that much money. Got your equipment in order. All right. All right. Now we have to go to a refinery and we have to take it down. It's going to be quite a hard mission. The risk is high. So I hope that we won't have too much troubles, because honestly, sometimes it can be quite hard. All right, now I hope that uh, Zonia is gonna help us, which is the one that we got a mission from, because she has a really good ship. So I hope so. All right, here we are. You picked the wrong fight. Threat level orange. Oh, like in weapons down. platforms and stuff. Jeez, I hope. Oh my god, I'm getting... Dude, you came so late, man. Okay, let's retreat to her. I took down so much fighters right there. I think I don't even know, man. Watch out for those turrets. It'll be a lot easier if we can thin them out. Yeah, no shit. Okay, let's get around this, uh... Let's get behind her, because we're getting... We're getting... Alright. Focus fire. Focus fire. And... Boom, bitch. talking about? Oh, 12,000 credits. Complete. That's just as much Double as the other mission. The other mission was way easier. What the hell? Alright, there's the stretch beacon. Let's go there. It's like our little ruse paid off. Alright, take them that. down, boys. 4,000. Okay, we have a bomber and three ships. Uh, I have an idea. We, we can totally do this. We can totally do this. this Keep shooting the black. Focus on the little ship first. That'll be my advice. 
for today, guys. My wisdom of today, focus on the little ship. It's a big ship, you know, the damage is not even that hard for the big ship. It's just Fort shields down. Ship. Oh! Fort shields down. Turn around! This is getting too hot for me. Alright, all the little ships are dead now. Now we focus on this little fucker. Collision warning. It's another 4,000 guys, it's another 4,000, that's it. Nice. Okay, so this mission is supposed to be a little bit easier. These are Korean fighters. Attacking a trader, and we just gotta save the trader, so yeah, we also don't get as much money from this one. But I mean, honestly... Damn, they're tearing me up! Korean's Seem to find okay, the exact word. Legend warning. Legend warning. Go with that scowl. Say that. Pretty good. Okay, there we go. Um, I think. Collision warning. Oh, Mission yeah. complete. There we go. Okay, that's seven Grab and a half thousand. That's loot. fine, right? Okay, looks like we don't have enough credits, but we actually do. We just need to sell a lot of stuff that we have, which is okay. So, for example, remove, sell. We can remove and sell all the stuff we have, which. Uh, here we go, sell again, sell that one too, and then we go to the defenses, we sell our armor, we sell our stuff, components, we sell our drives, we sell our booster, we sell our warp, we sell our tractor beam, now we're getting pretty close, and we sell the particle laser. Now, we can buy the 10 houses. Boom. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's name it. Yeah, okay, Dragonite. That's a sure name. I already had that. Let's give it equipment. So we only have 10k, which isn't a lot. But let's first focus on getting a standard shield uh, hull. Now, the standard stuff is extremely cheap. So that's why you can actually sell everything you already have. Because it's not really going to cost anything to install the basic stuff. Uh, basic stuff is not that good but you know it's I mean it'll be fine okay so look the big the basic one is is um, is 400 this one is um, very good for close broadside combat so actually take that one probably let's first look at the turrets now, the turrets are the most expensive ones now the pull turrets are the good ones. Now we don't have that much credits right now, so let's just get scatter turrets instead. Scatter turrets are basically little multi cannons. Now mul the these things aren't really that good, but I mean I, I guess we have four of them, and that's not that bad. So let's just get the poles. Let's just get everything basic, and in the next episode, let's get flak though, because I really need flak. So you know our whole thing is kind of. Um, yeah, it's actually quite decent. Let's get a better. Um, yes. Okay. So now we have a better hull plating, and we have some stuff upgraded. So let's visit the bar. Talk to Zenya. Glad you made it. Yes, 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 Good yes, luck. Yes. So now we have a new mission that we can do, and we can use this ship for that mission in the next episode. Let's first take a look at the ship. So this is the ship that we have now. A bigger ship, the Ten Housen, a friggin' class ship. As you can see, it has a lot of broadside. Holy crap! Very nice. Dude, how much is that? It's six. Wow. Six broadside shots. That's pretty sick. We have our flight cannons, which it fires two. 
but I think we have five slots. So I don't know how that works, but I guess that depends on the flight cannon itself. Scattered and we have our guns. Wait, that's actually quite sick. Holy fuck. I think we, uh, I think this, this thing will be decent sides. to use. So, uh, yeah, okay, well, uh, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Rebel Galaxy. I've never played Rebel Galaxy before on this channel, so this is all new to me. Please let me know in the comments down below some suggestions of what you guys think could be better. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll make more episodes, obviously, because we're going to get that Dreadnought, and it's going to be epic. I hope you guys really enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.